Hi folks, welcome back. Okay, got a little tip for you tonight. This is something that uh, was an advisory on my last MOT and it comes of mucky weather. Uh, rat bikes don't get washed. This is something that is just a fact of life. You don't wash them, you don't clean them. So some of the things still need to be taken care of that are important. Brakes have to be kept clean, discs, bobbins, fork seals, chain sprockets, etc. So maintenance is important even on a manky rat bike. In fact, sometimes it's kind of more important because they don't get care. They don't get the care that a normal bike gets. You wash your lovely shiny bike, you make care sure your brakes are all nice and clean as well. But on a rat bike, you just ride it every day in all the crap. And this is what happens now. Just having a look on here, this black line on the inside of the disc, there was an advisory on the last MOT that the brake disc on the front was running out slightly. Um, and it's perfectly possible. All that is, that is where the disc isn't touching the pad. And it's because the, the disc itself isn't moving free from the carrier. Uh, just get out my own light. This is the carrier. This is like a stamped alloy part and then a steel disc. And these things here are bobbins. And these bobbins, you probably already know all this, so I'm not going to teach you too much about it, suck eggs. But these things get gunged up with brake dust and crap. And you can free them off. There is a method without butchering them. And that's what I'm going to show you tonight. Okay, yep, I'm going to take these apart soon and I'm going to clean them. But there's no salt on the road yet, so they're not too bad. But for the moment time, these bobbins do get gunged up. And that's what's happened. The idea of these bobbins is that they're free floating. They're an interference fit. They do. There is a resistance to them. They don't rattle about like Ducati discs, but these do have an element of movement. And when that stops, the disc ends up cocked to one side slightly, and it just runs out. So you can feel a slight oscillation in the hand lever, and that's what I'm getting on this. So I'm just going to cure that tonight, and this is the simplest way. All it is is when these get gunged up. I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm not going to go round it all and make a long, boring, yawing video. I'm just going to show you the tip on how to clean these, and then you can do your own. And this is how you do it. Stick around, stay tuned, show you what's done. Okay, what we do, you need a nut and bolt, a bolt that's quite short and fits through the bobbin. Okay, these bobbins aren't secured, they're just held on the back with a little fish washer, like a little tiny thin fillet washer, shim thing. So what you do is short bolt and a big washer, plate nut. You don't want it too small, that's the right sort of size, big fat thing like that. And just poke that through and do it up. Okay, this is this there's videos of this elsewhere on YouTube, so it's not a it's not something I invented. This is a common thing. Mechanics in workshops will tell you this, this is how you do it, does it? And all you do, once that's done up, keep rotating inwards, and these will give. There we are. Now that's the bobbin spinning. If you come in close, come right on in close. You can see closely, not in your own light. That's it. The bobbin itself is spinning inside. And we just take a little bit of Cleaner, and drown it while spinning. Simple as that. Now some people might consider it correct to lubricate that once you've cleaned it. Personally, that terrifies me. I would never put lubrication of any description on a brake bobbin. Some people do, and you can do what you like. Nice and free. Now you can see when you're doing it, See the disc moving backwards and forwards, which it should do. And then just pop the spanner on back and pull it out. And you should, if you look close, be able to move that with your hand only just. All right, that is nice and free moving. And then all it is is a case of just going around the others. And doing them all. And you probably do this once a year, end of the winter. You see all the crap coming out the back, all the rust here running out, look, running down the disc. And that'll keep coming out until you wash it all away with this, and I've run out of the worst now. I'm going to go around the others.
And that's as simple as that, really. Simplest trick you could possibly do to look after your brakes, keep them mobile. If you keep them mobile, then expanding and contracting, especially in the summer, this is not just a winter thing. Listen to that. And then... Lovely. In the summertime, this can happen too. When you get really, really hot days, and you're giving it large ones out in the countryside, perhaps out in the bendy lanes, giving your bike a bit of a leather in, that's when you can warp a disc because these get gummed up with brake dust. They stop moving, they stop allowing the disc to expand and contract as it needs to in order to stay straight. So it sits rigid and as it overheats, then it warps the disc. So this will not only do that. Now, if you watch, you can see there now, there is a movement that's coming back to the disc and that's as it should be. So I'm just gonna go around the rest of these and clean my disc up. That's all, thanks for tuning in and watching Doughboy's Garage. There's your tip for today. Right safe.